Capricorn. Welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. It is I here. Oh, I just got a notification. It must be nine on the dot. Yeah, it probably is. Um, so Tesla, something about Tesla. Anyway, thank you so much for coming back. I am so excited to read for you guys. I'm going to say a quick prayer and we're going to get into it. Okay. So Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Capricorn on what to expect for this last week of June. Please always keep them feeling safe, love and safe, loved and protected. And please let the messages be clear and concise. Amen. Okay. If you like a personal reading, you can, um, check out the description box below and my email is there. I'd love to read for you. And, um, also my social media is there too, if you would like to connect that way. Okay. Okay. Let's get into it. So as far as places go, the Caribbean, Canada, Los Angeles, or wherever you're local to right now could be significant. Um, some of you could be grieving domestic violence or something, hopefully not, but grieving for some reason or another. Um, something about a motorcycle and the need to speak up. Maybe somebody who drives a motorcycle, you need to speak up to them for whatever it is that you're grieving about. Somebody could be buying expensive jewelry, a new home because they're the mother boss and the top dog they have short hair or you could be considering cutting your hair short period capricorn i expect nothing less you could have been in some conflict and defeat in may with the water sign yeah you're moving on to find the light um but you need you there's a, like a really big need to rely on the universe to fulfill your wishes and not to try to do everything yourself because i feel like that's how you can go really fast towards a path that isn't necessarily designed for you you know so be aware of that <clears throat> yeah because recognition and reward is coming you could end up with the fire sign leo sag aries shuffling for capricorn yeah capricorn thank you spirit yeah, I need to work on your awareness in regards to what it is that you're trying to harvest materialistically, so saving and things like that. Your destiny, okay, so 10-4, that's a police term, that means everything's okay, right? Because you got 10-4, destiny in reverse and four upright in regards to your foundation. So there's a need to work on your foundation so you can go full speed ahead towards your destiny. But your intuition is off because it's like you're moving too fast or you're doing too much. But you're no longer bored. Oh, okay. So this is the thing. You're not bored anymore. Maybe because outside open. So because you're not spending all that solitude and time alone, you could be outside and that's rocking your firm foundation or there's something that's rocking your foundation and it's throwing off your intuition and your awareness until that's fixed your destiny is on hold because you need to be grounded in order to manifest that so i feel like it just could be too much fun getting in the mix the fan just turned on um yeah and you need to emotionally withdraw and go back within and continue to do that work so you can continue on your path onward and up Onward and upward is what I'm hearing. Onward and upward. You could be seeing birds. Beware, like, you know, if you are, like, you know, outside doing different things, just beware of getting involved with people just for the hell of it, just for the moment. It could do more harm than good. You could have met a Gemini, but I feel like, yeah. Shuffling, who is this? Capricorn? Okay. <laughs> Shuffling for Capricorn, last week of June. Watch out! Okay, yeah. Transformation, Leo energy. A very wise transformation. Kung Fu Squirrel, 444. Watch out! Hi! Okay. <laughs> yeah, you could have met a Gemini. And I feel like they're inhibiting your transformation or stunting your growth. 
because there are secrets in regards to pleasure that are going to be illuminated to you because currently you're in denial right now yeah about some betrayal and you're gonna get wise come out of conflict gain clarity and become balanced once again virgo energy so that was a mouthful take it as you will <laughs> yeah so there's integrity that's needed sagittarius energy before and there's criticism nine nine so some kind of completion you could be dealing with a sag or what was that other card? It was. We'll find it again. Yeah, but nine nine integrity, Sag, and something else. But that's what's holding up your new beginning. The need to be more honest and to speak up. Yeah, that was in your channel messages too. Um. Something's going to be illuminated to you, I'm telling you. There could be a hidden child, I'm hearing. But once you find out what it is, you're going to be like, oh, that's what was blocking it. The higher font, yeah. Sorry, the lighting's getting weird. Shuffling for Capricorn. Definitely protecting your finances, I see. Capricorn, last week of June, please. Um, For some of you, you might find out something, but it's like you don't care because you were only in it for the physical, you know, part of it anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is so fucked up. Like, you were like, oh, I already knew about that. I don't care about any of that. I was just trying to, you know, you know. <laughs> you guys, stop. That's why you're off balance. That's why you're off balance right there. Oh, that old thing. I don't care about that. Ew, you guys are, oh, you guys are horrible. <laughs> I'm just getting in the bus, but... Yeah, the world conflict in your world you got girl you got people fighting over you boys girls everything that's why you don't got no firm foundation because you're all cocky because people they're they're all like like um i see it in my head but i can't verbalize it i just saw something fly but you know when there are those old fights like what's that show called that everybody was obsessed with uh, what's that show that like medieval show everybody like literally everybody watches it in the world except me I have dog hair in my hair anyways I'll think of it in a second but I don't know it's like everyone's like in the coliseum fighting for you like that scene in Shrek when Shrek's fighting all the guards to go get Fiona. And I feel like that's what's messing up your foundation. It is literally gonna drive me crazy if I can't think of this show. You know, the people with the blonde hair and it's all like cold. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Capricorn. Yeah, you might have realized something about a Virgo. Or no, you're no longer the hermit. You're being outside and now that's why you're waiting for the next phase because you could have you should have spent that time working and building your foundation. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. I get it. Okay. Um, okay. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. That's what it is. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, child. And he's dressed like the Game of Thrones people. Game of Thrones. The chess game. Absolutely. Thank you. That was going to drive me crazy. Okay. They already know. Shouting for Capricorn. 
in love for the last week of June. What's going on in love? Oh, waiting. Oh, someone's waiting to express how they feel to you. They were supposed to do it in the spring, but they're still waiting. Yeah, but they're done reflecting. Oh, but the angels, the, so it's divine timing. Archangel Raphael is here. So pretty much they're waiting for the perfect timing to express themselves to you. Um, but they think about it every night. They're working on it every night. Ooh. That's where I just heard a crow and there's a chipmunk. Um, they could be a, an architect or a painter, like really good at painting, drawing. Um, some of you got, some of you are dealing with a nail tech I'm seeing as well, or just somebody really good with the hands. <gasps> oh my goodness. You guys, wait, you're about to meet your soulmate if you haven't already in July. They could be born in the 10th month, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God. You guys, one, the Akashic field is meant to be. Oh, wing message of the birds are trying to tell you. That's why y'all had so many birds and pears in that reading when I was home in Florida. I'm so happy for you guys. Oh, some of you guys are getting acupuncture because I keep feeling these pins and needles in my like back side area. Listen, okay, listen, it could be a fire sign or you could have a lot of fire in your chart. The wheel, the wheel on the bottom, delays are over because we're almost in June. Oh my god, you guys. Sudden or unexpected good luck. I'm so, I feel it. I feel it and it's coming. If it hasn't happened, it's coming. And if you've been in a relationship for a hell of a long time, maybe it's just like a renewal of energy or, you know, maybe a relocation with your, per I don't know. But for a lot of you, you are meeting the one in June. Uh oh, did I mix up these cards? <gasps> no. Oh my god. Strange. Half my cards like were flipped over and I was about to shuffle them all in. The wheel again. Oh, cause you desire a more meaningful life. You guys, I'm gonna cry. Bring fun into everything you do. That's why you're not grounded because you're trying to have fun because you be you're so serious all the time. But now your equilibrium's off, so you need to get it back together so you can meet your person in July. Like it's gonna happen. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, I love doing this. Reach out to others for comfort, support, and love. Um. Yeah, definitely protect your money. You guys need to be reading books. Oh my goodness. A financial windfall. Yeah. There's something that you're supposed to be building or growing that you're not doing. It's a business idea that you've had for a while. You need to do it. Be grateful you have so much to celebrate. The Chariot, July. You guys, I'm saying the Chariot, it's coming. You could be seeing dragonflies. Success comes from dedication. You have the sun in reverse. That's August, because I feel like it's gonna happen in July. Plans that work out perfectly. Um, you have unfounded fear focusing on the worst case scenario the, that's throwing off your equilibrium as well um, in the past you've never had a romantic partner you could really trust like that um, I feel like you've done enough research maybe reach out to your elders your grandparents and things like that take steps to ensure financial security of your children and loved ones 
um, understand that there's a reason for everything that happens and you need to let go of people and things that no longer serve you. That's your homework, okay? Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. Yeah, definitely be reading right now. It's the time. Um, some of you are spending money unnecessarily, so beware of that, but y'all, I'm excited for you. Like I said, like, comment, let me know. I'm so excited for July because I can't wait to start reading for you guys then. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Mm -mm -mm.